and that's where um, that's the PC you will vote on. Now let's talk about that PC first. Um, that P well actually yeah well yeah that PC is where um, what you'll be able to do as a member of the International Citizens Union is a number of things as far as voting. You'll be able to, to propose votes or propose uh, laws, create pr proposals for laws, statutes, rules, guidelines, whatever, um, however you want to present it. So you'll actually be able to propose a law. Um, you'll be able to modify an existing law, uh, once again with a proposal, and um, you can propose to uh, create new laws, which I believe the first one covers that. Um, you can propose to modify a law, and you can propose to delete a law. So basically, each you will have the individual right to take everything you believe in, all your morals, values, you know, ideas um, for a better world, and implement them into. Um, the world's laws, um, you know, with your votes averaging out with everyone else's vote, which will create a worldwide system of humanitarian law. Um, so the first PC will be the voting PC, um, and that's uh, that's where the whatever proposal is uh, or proposals are um, entered. Uh, just mainly the proposal number. Um, the the actual uh, we probably have an, a second PC. That will actually list all the proposals and, and the details about them. So this is where the the laws or proposals will be listed. Um, and uh, you know you can you you should be able to go online and see them, uh, pull them up, uh, look at all proposals within your community. So um, and that's all you have to worry about is the proposals in your community because each community will have their same proposals and they'll be able to go in and, and you'll share your ideas community by community so uh, if somebody has a great idea in one community of course that'll be spread that and offered for other communities hey you know we've got this proposal that we're going to vote on concerning this issue which is really great idea submitted by our uh, you know our local uh, neighbor Joe who lives in our community and we just wanted to pass it on to each community and um, so all the community's proposals uh, can be uploaded onto the internet so you know you can look at any proposal of course there will be uh, some other things that will be managing all that so uh, someone comes up with a good idea it's going to spread fast around the world um, so your second PC will list all your proposals and probably um, We could probably we're going to need to create um, a database of everyone in your community because they're going to be the only ones who can vote on your system. So that's that's one of the parameters of controlling uh, the voting to make sure that it's accurate. Um, only only your community members will be able to vote on your community's PC. So only your community members will be able to vote and I'm not very good with spelling. Um, we'll be able to vote on that PC. So there'll be a database obviously um, a database of, of community members. So you'll have a database that lists all the persons in your community, all the persons who have the right to vote on your system. That way when they come in to place a vote, you know, they'll simply show their ID and you'll say, yeah, I'm Joe Smith. I live over there on, um, you know, 2nd Street. And, uh, you know, there's my ID. And you say, okay. And you simply, the, the persons uh, in charge of the P 
PC system for that period of time, uh, which we talk about how all that works. We'll verify that, yeah, that's Joe Smith. We'll probably know him, or, you know, obviously we'll get to know uh, more of our members or our community. And so, you know, Joe will say, well, I'm here to vote on this pro the proposal, this proposal, that proposal, whatever. So the Joe will give his, uh, you know, probably have a, a piece of paper or something, some type of uh, sheet to fill out, and Joe will sign out that I vote yes on this proposal, no on this proposal, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then his proposal, his votes will be entered into the voting PC database. Once Joe's placed his votes, he's done. He can't place more votes on the same law. He gets one vote per law, just like every other citizen in the world. Um, now, if someone comes in from a different community and says, Hey, uh, I'm Bob Smith, and I live on Howard Street, uh, right here in the community and you know the PC the people in charge of the the database for that period of time will look up and say well I'm sorry we don't have that street you know the, the, it basically eliminates anybody from cheating the system um, the only persons who could go in and finagle uh, the PC database would be the persons who are currently have been assigned uh, to run the PC system and of course it wouldn't be wise to mess with the voting at that point because it would obviously only point to those who had access to the system um, and we'll get into all that how the management system works um, so it really eliminates any way that that the laws can be uh, or the votes can be manipulated as well uh, when someone walks in to place their vote it's going to go right into a spreadsheet and they can bring with them a flappy drive or you know any type of media that and that spreadsheet can be downloaded onto their media so if anything changes from that point back you know once the votes have been counted and the law has been passed and Joe goes back and looks at the spreadsheet and realizes that you know from the point he came in back that it's not matching up with what he has on his uh, little thumb drive and it obviously somebody manipulated the votes um, the thing about the, the spreadsheet is there's going to be no more hiding of votes it's going to list everything it's going to list your the proposal the number that you're voting on it's going to list your vote yes or no it's going to list your name your address it's going to list what time you were there when you placed your vote so there's no more hiding of the votes, um, which is the stupidest thing that I've ever seen in my life is a bunch of people run to these electronic voting machines to vote for a president. You have no idea how your vote was counted or even if it was counted or if it was uh, deleted or dumped, you know, you know, or if additional votes were added. I mean, how do you really know? You know, there's and it's already been proven in court that the machines are being manipulated. So um, Voting on the community level with a specific number of people that live in that community and they're the only ones that can vote on that PC, uh, it prevents any, um, you know, manipulation of the votes. Um, <clears throat> the second PC, like I said, will actually list the proposals in detail because that'll probably eventually get pretty filled up uh, with a lot of detail. And we're going to specifically discuss how the proposals are handled because um, you'll be able to modify or uh, to, to make you know you could take an existing proposal and you may read it and you may say you know this is this 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 is a good part of the proposal but this other part over here I don't like so when you go in and look at that proposal you'll actually be able to rewrite the proposal and resubmit um, your changes. Now obviously it would be you know best to go back to the person who originally created